The man who's considered one of the creators of artificial intelligence has quit his job at Google amid concerns over the future dangers of AI. Jeffrey Hinton, a British-Canadian computer scientist, says he now regrets his work on AI, calling some of the dangers quite scary. Hinton is worried AI has the capacity to become more intelligent than humans and could be manipulated to do harm. So, for more on this, we're joined live this afternoon by Daniel Sai, a lecturer of communication, culture, information, and technology at University of Toronto. Really good to talk to you, Daniel, about this. What do you take when someone like Jeffrey Hinton says this about AI? How concerned should we be? Well, as we know, he's the godfather of AI. He's the uh, person that we all look up to as a researcher. That says to us that uh, his concerns is that AI is beco becoming more intelligent than humans, and we have no guardrails in place in terms of ethics, law, regulation. So this is very scary, especially when you have Google, uh, Meta, which is Facebook, and uh, OpenAI uh, with uh, Microsoft trying to get to uh, domination with their uh, AI platforms and uh, unleashing things we don't know what's going to happen. I mean, and, and Hinton's not the first, right? I mean, it was about a month ago, a series of, uh, you know, tech uh, senior executives sort of said they were going to take like a six-month pause, if they could, on AI development to kind of, you know, almost, you know, keep it in check, kind of see where things are going, and then move from there. But it sounds like it's almost moving too quickly. Yeah, that group was led by Elon Musk, mm -hmm. and he's always been known as a as a fervent uh, believer in AI. And for him to also uh, call the alarm like Jeffrey Hinton shows it's pretty serious. Now, what they're really concerned about is AI moving from simple AI, which is like very basic tasks like facial recognition on your phones to self-driving cars, to general intelligence or general AI, which means it's thinking like humans and also can have a theory of mind understanding human how humans uh, emotionally respond which allows for manipulation and other things and the thing about general intelligence or general AI is that uh, this level of AI can code itself debug it and if unleashed by uh, actors uh, like Russia or other uh, states that might want to do us harm could pose huge risks to our society, to humanity. And that's what Hinton's really concerned about. Yeah, I mean, it sounds like the plot to a sort of sci-fi thriller, I mean, or horror movie, depending on sort of which way you want to look at this, Daniel. So how concerned are you and how possible is it? I mean, have the horses bolted the barn and you can't shut the doors? Like, is there any way now of kind of reining in where we are and where we're going? Well, that's why that group of AI experts called for a six month moratorium on AI development until there are some ethical, legal and regulatory rules in place by governments around the world. Um, I think we are at a situation now where we are running out of time. Governments need to step up. Uh, you know, even here in Canada, the parliament can call hearings and call in the, the executives from these big companies that are using AI and ask them, what are you doing in terms of protecting society with your AI development? It's not all about money and getting into the market uh, and dominating with your products. It's about, uh, this is not social experimentation. Mm -hmm. This is a bigger issue than that. And D Daniel, 30 seconds to go. Let's call ourselves the good guys, kind of Canada and the West per se. But what if this falls into the hands of the, the enemies? I won't name some countries, but I think we all know who we're inferring here. I mean, if they continue to develop and move ahead, you know, do we all lose in the end anyway? Yeah, we've got a big problem here. We know AI and computers run our infrastructure, our banking, our healthcare. This is a major threat and this has to be addressed. Okay, Daniel Sai, appreciate you helping uh, sort of uh, light the story up for our viewers here today. Uh, Daniel Sai, communication, culture, and information lecturer at the University of Toronto. Thanks for the time. I'm sure we'll talk again soon on this. Thank you. Okay.